Hey beautiful, so welcome back to my channel. So, um, sorry I have been MIA, you know, I, I make videos and then like I stop and then I make videos and I stop. But I have perfectly good reason. My daughter's birthday is coming up next week and I've been crazy trying to get everything prepared, ready, you know, just... It's my daughter's first birthday, and I really want it to look nice. Not only that, my mom's coming down, finally, after so many years. Sorry, Mom, you've been gone for a while. So, she's going to come down and visit, too. So, I've been just, you know, busy with that and um, trying to get things looking in shape here. So, um, yeah, let's get started. So, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial or a get ready with me um it's date night and i'm gonna be wearing a green olive dream green olive dress kind of like this color like the money so um yeah let's get started so as you can see i already primed my face as always with the maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser and um i already did my eyebrows like always the wet and wild um brown pencil so oh and to conceal them i use the age rewind instant eraser so um yeah let's get started so i'm gonna go ahead and put the concealer on my eyelids and i'm gonna use that as a primer so i'm gonna go ahead i have all my brushes everywhere and blend it Okay, so I already blended out that concealer, and I'm going to use that as a primer for my lid. Also, you all, this is going to be like my first time using tape. I'm going to try it out. I have this literally my first time using tape because um, I always use concealer. I feel like concealer is the same thing. And, just, and with the concealer, you can, you know, at the last minute, if you want it, like the winged out liner, you can just... Make it nice and sharp. If you want it kind of like oval round, you can just clean it out. So that's why I prefer concealer, but I do want to try out the tape. So I'm going to go ahead and put the other tape, the other eye, and we can get started with this tutorial. Okay, so I look funny wearing it. I guess this is probably one of the reasons why I don't use the tape, but oh well. So I'm going to go in with my Too Faced chocolate bar and since like I said I'm going to be wearing an olive green color I do want to do like an olive brown smoky eye look so yeah I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush and this is in the Crease Select brush which looks like that flat round top brush and for a transition color I'm going to go in with the color Salted Caramel that one right there. And I'm going to go ahead and place that as a transition color. And I'm putting it right above my eyebrow, but right, right below my eyebrow, right above my... Okay, so I already put that salted caramel on for transition color. Now I'm going to go in with the color Triple Fudge, which is a dark olive green matte color. And I'm going to go in with a crease brush, which looks like that. doesn't matter any kind of crease brush you have, you can use it. So I'm going to go in with that Triple Fudge. But I'm going to put it in my outer crease. And I'm going to draw the line first on how I to shape, you know, to get more room for my eyelids. When I apply the eyeshadow, it looks really... And I'm also going to put it right here in the bottom. Do like a V shape on my outer crease. And 
And I am just doing swiper motion, side to side motion like that. I look so funny. But as you can see, I already applied that shadow. Now I'm going to go in with a Real Techniques brush. And this is a base shadow brush. But it's really, really fluffy. So I'm going to go in with that color Milk Chocolate. These are all matte colors so far that I am applying because there is some sparkly and shimmer ones. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend those colors. To give it that smoky effect. You can do circular motions and you can do swiper motions. I'm going to do circular motions on the outer. And circular motions towards the inner. I'm going to add a little bit more of that milk chocolate. And blend it. Okay, so as you can see, I already blended it out. So now I'm going to go in with an equal toothbrush. And this is a smudge brush. And it comes with that four pack of equal tooths that you can find at your local drugstore. And it's really small. It's actually supposed to be for like the eyeliner and all that. But I really like these little tiny brushes just to get in, you know, those tight little spots where you're, we would apply the highlight. So, um, instead of using an eyeshadow for a highlight, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Candlelight Rosy Glow. And, um, earlier, well, I told you guys a while back that it had broke, but I fixed it. I put alcohol, that 50% alcohol, and it worked like a shock charm. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply that charm. It worked like a charm. I'm going to go ahead and apply that highlight. That. I'm going back in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. And I'm going to go with that color Salted Caramel that I used in the beginning before as a transition color. And I'm going to go ahead and put it right on top. And just blend it. Just to clean up the harsh lines. Okay, so that's how it looks so far. So going in with the eyelid um, color, I'm going to go in with that concealer that I used before to put as a primer. And I'm going to go in with a small um, concealer brush. It doesn't matter what kind of concealer it is, just as long as it's small. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of like the NYX, how you apply it on your eye lid for like a base color. I'm going to use that concealer. Like that. And I hope I'm putting the tape right because I don't want to like peel it and it's going to be like way all the way over here. You know what I mean? So I'm going in back with the chocolate bar. And I'm going to go in with a flat eyeshadow brush. Going in with my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Setting Spray. Spray a little bit on that brush. And I'm going to go in with that color Gilded Ganache, which is this color right here. It's an olive sparkly color. It's beautiful. I haven't even used that color yet. So I'm going to go ahead and use that small shadow brush. And I'm kind of going to, like, tap it. Because I really want that sparkles to be, like, glitter to sparkle, you know? You can see that sparkle so far. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same step that I did here. I'm going to go ahead and do it here. Okay, so I already applied that shadow, as you can see. So I'm going to go in with a flat um, eyeshadow brush. I'm going to add more of that e.l.f. setting spray to it. I'm going to go in with that color uh, marzipan. 
this color right there. And I'm going to put that color right in the middle. Like that. So you guys can see how I'm doing it. I'm tapping it and pressing it down. I'm going back with that brush that I used to apply that color, um, gilded, gilded ganache. I'm just kind of blending it. Like that. So, for the highlight, I'm going to go in with the same highlight that I used for my brows, which is the Too Faced Candlelight, Ro Candlelight Rosy Glow. Going in with that equal toothbrush, I'm going to put it in my teardrop. Like that. So... For the eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and do the eyeliner with the tape so I can try and get that cut, like that sharp winged liner. So I'm going to go in with that H2O Wet and Wild Proof Liquid Eyeliner. And of course, it's black. So... I'm going to do that bold winged Okay, so I let that eyeliner dry up just a little bit. Let's see. <laughs> that looks funny. Let's see. Let's do this one. So that's our look, guys. It looks. That's why I kind of prefer the concealer, just because I can just like clean it up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up. Some of the eyeliner slipped out on the tape. I probably didn't do it good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick. It's the eyeliner. Oh, I give up. Okay, so that's how it looks. This side looks all crappy, but I'll fix it in a bit. So I'm going to go in with the foundation already. Um, this is the Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation in 228 Soft Tan. Um, I recently like purchased the Infallible Glow, Glow Pro. And like I said on my Facebook post, on my Facebook page, um, they kind of like the same theme. They even have the same colors to it. I feel like um, same coverage, maybe different smells, but overall it's the same. The only thing, this, let me see. Well, they're both actually the same fluid ounce, millimeters. So it's the same thing, you all. Like six bucks, twelve dollars. Six bucks, twelve dollars. One or by two. You know what I mean? So, um, they're the same thing. That's just my opinion. Like, maybe everybody else has different opinions, but I feel like to me it's the same. But I'm gonna go in with that Fit Me 228 Soft Tan. That was just a little, you know, info. 
So I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation brush, the It. Apply some of that Elf. And apply that foundation all over my face. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend. Okay, so I already blended my foundation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the cream contour. I'm telling you guys, I'm doing different things. Like I wanna try different, things, like new things. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Adri Wine and Neutralizer. I'm gonna apply some where I usually conceal, and I'm gonna do the highlight. I'll place it under my eyes, my chin, my forehead, and I usually do concealer and then foundation, but I'm doing something different, something new, something out of my element. So, like how I find where to put the concealer, I usually like the brown, like when you do the powder or cream I usually um, aim like where the middle of my ear is my earlobe the middle right here where you're here I usually put the brown right there so just straight and usually the c yellow or the concealer for the bottom when you blend you're doing the cream contour I usually do it like where my earlobe is in the bottom right here in the tip so that's just a little you guys can know you know that's how I do it. So, I'm going to go in with the Hard Candy Look Pro Ultimate Contour and Scope Kit. This is light to medium. I got the wrong one. But I'm going to go in with this color right here. And one, two, three. It's for the contour, of course. So, I'm going to go in. So I'm going to go in with a concealer brush right here, and I'm going to get that brown concealer. Usually it's really light. My nice color. And I'm going to apply it. My forehead. On my nose, this is kind of like a grayish brown. Not really brown brown, it's like a grayish brown because I got the wrong one. So on my skin color, it looks grayish brown. Maybe on a lighter skin, it'll look dark. So I'm going to put it in my... So that's the cream contour. That's how it's looking so far. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with a damped beauty blender. And I'm gonna blend. Okay, so I already blended. Now I'm gonna go in with the translucent powder, and this is the Cody Airspun Extra Translucent Powder. I'm going to use a little pad that it comes with and apply that powder under my eyes. And on my forehead. Okay, so for the contour, another contour, I'm going to do the powder over the cream. Um, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, medium to tan. And I'm going to go in with this color and this color. And I'm going to go in with a contour. I'm going with my e.l.f. First, and I'm going to go in with that middle color for my nose. 
Just to find to find my nose a little bit more. Give it a slimmer nose effect. I'm gonna go in with my posh double ended brush and make those two colors that I had showed you earlier. Put it under my and I'm gonna okay so I'm gonna let all that bake I already blended and I also added more translucent powder so for the lashes I'm gonna go in with of course the Ardell Audacity or the Ardell Glamour 113 I'm gonna go ahead and apply those off camera and then when we get going finish the eyes and the highlight and the lips okay so I already applied the lashes now I kind of over baked a little bit but it's all good so we're going with the hard candy brush that came in with that um sculpting kit that was there but I actually used it just to clean out that powder I'm gonna go ahead and blend all that out. Actually, these flat tops are really good for it. Like, it doesn't look cakey at all under my eyes. Okay. So, that's how everything's looking so far. Now, I'm gonna go and, um, um, like some eyeshadow under my eye. I'm like having like black blackouts. Like I really cannot get the word right. But if you guys know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? So I'm going in with a angled brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this to apply eyeshadow on my waterline or down below my waterline. So I'm gonna go in with that semi sweet color right there. Okay, you all, so I already applied that eyeshadow under my eye. I'm going to go in with a black pencil and eyeliner pencil, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that black eyeliner uh, inside my waterline. Like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and um, apply mascara. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous. Mascara and I'm going to apply just so my original lashes and the lashes blend together and to secure it. Like that. I'm also going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. This is the Maybelline, the Falsies Big Eyes. Excuse me. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced. Rosy Glow Candle Light Rosy Glow and my Elf Fan Brush and apply that highlight. And I like to look shiny. On top of my eyebrows. Oh, 
Okay, so I already played that highlighter. You guys hearing about that highlight highlighting challenge, whatever is going on? Weird, but maybe I should try it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with a powder brush, and the foundation I'm gonna go ahead is the Maybelline Fit Me 230 Natural Buff, and it goes with the foundation that I use, so it's a perfect combo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place that powder. Just to blend and set everything that I applied to my face. Now for the lips, I don't know what color I should put. So I'm just going to go with the flow. So this is the L'Oreal Color Retreat Nudes for Life Lip Liner. And I'm kind of also going to like shade it on the corners. I'm just shading it. Like that. So I'm gonna go in with the Milani lipstick, and this is in 60 Matte Innocent Innocence. Like that. Just to add a little shine, I'm gonna go in with the Remo London Show Off Lip Lacquer. There you have it, you all. Let me um do my hair real quick and put on my outfit so you guys can see how it looks. Okay, you guys, one more thing before I finish doing my hair. Um, I feel like my makeup needed, like, a pop. You know what I mean? Like, I did do a smoky eye, and yes, I get it. Smoky eye is enough for a lot of girls. But me, I like it to pop. You know what I mean? So, I got this gold liquid eyeliner and this is from Sepa. I don't know it doesn't even have a name I guess I use it too much so as you can tell I put some in my inner <laughs> like trying to get the name of it my um, teardrop area and also at the end I'm going to show you guys how I did it I feel like that was too much. And just do a little line. So that's going to complete the makeup look. You guys can see it. Let me zoom in. I know I'm already going hitting the 30 minute mark, but I haven't done a video in a while, so it really makes up for it. And I like that sparkle, you know me. I like for my eyes to pop out, you know, like I'm not gonna wear that much gold or whatever, so why not wear gold on your eyes? So let me go ahead and show you guys the outfit that I'm gonna wear so you guys can tell me more or less if it looks good. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look, the final makeup look. I'm wearing some gold, and this is the dress that I was talking about. It is gold. I'm gonna show you guys. You can see it from the bottom. It's just a regular um, dress, but yeah, I'm gonna wear this for our date night. And for the shoes, let me show you guys real quick. If I can find out. They're gonna be these right here. They're from Charlie Roos. And this dress is also from Charlie Roos. 
I know I'm kind of like big or whatever, but I have two kids. So these are the shoes that I'm going to wear. I don't know if you guys can see them. They're just the regular little Charlie Roos. Simple shoes. So you guys, thanks again. Thank you guys for staying this long watching with me and waiting till the end. So um, tell me what you guys think of the makeup look down below in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and like this video. And until next time, bye beautiful. Mwah.